Hi friends, it's Miss Amy with West Virginia University Extension Service Family Nutrition Program. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about pears. Are you familiar with my plate? What section of my plate do you think pears falls into? That's right, the fruit category, good job. I have with me some pears. Let's talk about the nutritional value that pears provide to our bodies. Well, we know they're in the fruit category, so they have to be filled with vitamins. Pears provide our bodies with fiber, which helps us go to the bathroom, potassium, which helps our muscles move, and vitamin C, which keeps our immune system healthy. Let's take a look inside a pear. I have with me three pears. This pear is called a red kefir pear. This pear is called a Bartlett pear. And this pear is called an Asian pear. All of the pears feel very similar on the outside. Their skin is very smooth, but you can see that they are three different colors. Let's cut open our pears and take a look on the inside. The inside of the pear feels wet. It's very moist. And where the peel or the skin is, is very, very thin. All the way in the center, you'll see very tiny seeds, but pears don't actually have a thicker core like an apple does. Let's try another one. So you can see similar to the red kefir pear, the Bartlett pear is juicy on the inside, has very thin skin, and has barely no core. The seeds are very small inside the pear. Mm, it smells very good. Mmm. Pears are very sweet, and they're firm on the inside, but very juicy. Most of the nutrients are actually found in the peel, so it's important to leave the skin or the peel on your pear when you eat it. Pears can be eaten raw, which means all you need to do is wash the outside of your fruit and eat it, or pears can be cooked. Some people will grill them, some people will boil them, and a lot of people will can them. So where do pears come from? Where can we find them? We know we can find them in a grocery store and we can find them in the farmer's market in the fall here in West Virginia, but where and how do they grow? Let's go explore a farm and see how pears grow. Let's take a look at how pears grow. Pears grow on trees. Pear trees are what you would call deciduous, meaning they lose their leaves every year. When a pear tree blossoms, it has white flowers that each have five petals. The flowers, after pollinated, turn into the fruit, or what we know as the pear. When you harvest pears, you pick them from the tree. Normally, you let pears sit on your counter for three to five days to ripen up. You can determine when a pear is ripe when you press on it by the stem and it gives a little bit. Pears can be consumed fresh, canned, as juice, or dried fruit. People also use them to make jams and jellies and pie. Pears can be found at your local farmer's market in September and October in West Virginia. 